A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. Hello, welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehogs. It wasn't me, but believe me, I may be suspicious. I am somehow in this game with who's being played by these two fucking idiots. I'll knock you up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! Are those teddy bears? It's been requested of you not to eat them. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do a bit, just fucking. <laughs> but who's pulling one of these out to be searching for something? Can you stop crinkling the bottle? You are now going to ruin the audio. What reckless behaviour? I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're open. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. I'm going to trigger every book reader right now. I used to open my books like just completely. Like, just, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> well, how else am I going to open it? Trashbin. Sam, it's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Fuck. Oh, I really thought there'd be something there. Jake Jen, well, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No. No, I'm alright. I'm sure, um, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. Oh, wait, here, I found something in the trash bin. What? It's, it's a condom. It's Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's October Sky? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that movie? Have you seen it? Do you remember that? That's like Jake Gyllenhaal's first, like... Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be the Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> With Pedro Pascal. <laughs> oh my god, it's Passengers? That's not... That's Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. No, I meant Life. That's the movie I meant. <laughs> Both are in space. Shut up. Oh my god, is that Spider-Man Far From Home? Why are there so many of your movies in this bin? Uh, no reason. You really think so? Man, Ryan Gosling really fell hard, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we just gotta stay up to this thing. Hey, there's one more thing in this bin. It's the Barbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins had a secret. I'm sure of it. Hey, it's a secret panel. It's got... <laughs> Another copy of Brokeback Mountain. Jake <laughs> Gyllenhaal, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What was that supposed to be? Remember, we're purely mutual. We're not going to develop a romantic bond. And I'm just saying that as a trope. As a trope that always fucking happens with detectives and sidekicks. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some some of the countries. They're all islands, though. <laughs> Let's be honest, they're all pretty much well, islands. No. Yes, but actually, no. We're currently on an island, but we're also on a continent. And a country. Yeah, fuck. They're a lot of fun, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> you can say it People in shops, you can't be beat either. My ass hurts. Ah, since perfect for a vacation, the conductor was talking about for a bit. Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have actually. If you ever visit, if you ever visit, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. Hey, it's a callback to um, Sonic Monster Unleashed. Is it? Yeah. I, I I remember having that game, and then I got up to a level, and because I was a fucking idiot, I didn't process what to do, so I just stopped playing. Oh, Sam. Yeah. Except I didn't stop playing. I just didn't know what to do. Fair enough. Because I was a stupid child. I also <laughs> got to a point where I didn't know what the game wanted me to do. Because it's not very direct in telling you what it wants it's you to not, do sometimes. It's, it's and I went, I've done everything, right? What does it want from me now? Let me run around this level for a bit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. He'll tell you everything about the area. A area. Area. And makes, and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This trip knows everyone. has been everywhere. Haven't they? Look at the fucking Sonic. Is there anything else? Oh. Chaos Cola! <laughs> it's fucking chaos rings. Like chaos everyone's Check out our book club. Book of the month. Gone Gal. Why are they referencing that book in a kid's game? That's such a not kid friendly book. Is it? No, do you know what it's about? No. It's about a girl getting kidnapped. Oh. And like, like hidden under a basement and the parents, like the whole, like, like to a point where a movie was made about it. Oh. Fucking Mark Wahlberg. And, like, like, the parents are trying to find him, and, like, <laughs> it's a really fucking dark book and movie. <laughs> really fucking dark. I mean, they made a joke about something else earlier. It's called Gone Girl. Yeah, I swear it's... 
Yeah, 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 the bunny, yeah, the bunny, the fucking medication malpractice. Yeah. yeah true. There is some dark jokes in this game, so far. Yeah, oh my god. Hold on. Yeah, you, you, you keep... Turning. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me, no time to rest. Yeah, so you go on, girl. Alright, let's move on then. See? Go on, girl. Oh, shit. Movie adapted from a book. I'm not those kinds of fans, guys. I actually know when stuff's adapted from books. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. Dun, 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 He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one... It's the user's guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Really? <laughs> Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is but it is interesting. Let's make note of this. Mirage, Mirage Express, Express manual is added, added to your inventory. Alright. Um, next vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but the cop is getting my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup Are you stained apron. More Western as you fucking go on. Not a butcher. <laughs> Not a butcher. <laughs> I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Also, why aren't you in the? Why are you in this car, not the saloon? I hang around knuckles too long. Oh yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. It's, it's not, but... Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Jack Gyllenhaal, why would you tease him like that? You fucking dick! And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Jack Gyllenhaal, you made him a fool. Come on, Jack Gyllenhaal, smooth the servo. No, I'm not the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over. Put on a cost. You what else? You meant to talk to him normally. Book. Book. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This face of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yup, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. <laughs> what kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Eggs. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. I want to st I want to know what's in it. No, you don't get to know what's in it. Just eggs. <laughs> Have you actually spoken to Vector? Like, actual conversation? No. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going to the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make it look of it? Yeah, I don't believe we should. I got a message on my phone. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. It's my mum. She's gonna be ten minutes late. What? No worries. I love you. Kisses. <laughs> She's gonna argue what the fuck that's all about. <laughs> I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Who we target first? The Espio. Poem guy. Fancy a poem? Oh, but they're already right, doing both of them anyway. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? How have you gotten Groffer now? <laughs> it's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective. Without examining the valid the valid the the, 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 the validity of your alibis, Ch Jake Gyllenhaal and I are here to confirm two things: why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? I read to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Oh my god, he's an introvert, little worm. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Root entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you, you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? 
Of course he was. Once well, SBO starts reading, it doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't know you that detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? Pornos. If you want, if you want to talk, I have a hunch on what book you might, what that book might be. Jack Gyllenhaal, could you help me out? All right, Jack Gyllenhaal. What book do you think Espio may have been reading? Was it Clue Sky? Again, another another movie based off a book. Mirage Express Manual. A manual? You think SPO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? I'm thinking, alright. I'm thinking, buddy. Can I press the button? Oh, It's fucking 40 of them? Jesus. I guess that it goes up. Fuck, I didn't go over far enough. <gasps> <laughs> Vector just laughed. Vector's fucking sprite was a laugh. I'm sure you can jump right over that thing. Hmm. Probably. If you time it fucking right. If you rats. time it right. There we go, I got 40 rings, who cares? <laughs> Where did the other one of the things I was holding go? There it is. Thieves laughing. <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except the manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't only like you, SPO. Hey now, only have you insulted my pal like that. Calm down, Vexor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anyone. We're not friends, we're lovers, you idiots. That is intended that is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express manual. Trains are cool. I'm autistic, so In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Jake Gyllenhaal, if you won't mind. Could you ask us some questions about the manual? Just slip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz this bill about the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Page 97. I dropped something. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, steering events that can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I don't really con conduct to say the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passengers' safety. Since I guess we are aced the question, Jake and all, hit him with another one. It's page 15, let's go early on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because you'd remember need the end. <laughs> we wait for it, we'd be like, that's, that's a page of context. <laughs> what is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you'll be charged a uh, charge of no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over the age of 65. I'm not like the conductor. Last one, Jake Gyllenhaal. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Um, 402 or 16? 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of abilities. Without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No. <laughs> Can I say no? I think you're probably good, yeah. Hate to say it, but no. Haha, <laughs> just goofing. You passed. I completed the test of these. All my efforts were only to please, but you, but you, but you joked and japed, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Did he just rhyme and curse me at the same time? You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. <laughs> and you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't want to be supporting folks who read. You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. 
Lecter was the only to want to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substa substantiate despite being the truth. No. <laughs> oh. Well, you definitely read Such the manual, so the I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Jake Gyllenhaal? He always puts me on the spot. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay, see, Jake Gyllenhaal, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone else saw Espio reading, but what? It would have been, um... Would it be would this, or no, would it, it be been this? Shadow. Shadow's luck? Please, pray tell. What what this has to do with anything. We're up, Jake Gyllenhaal. Let's get our argument together. <laughs> Time to play on your Game Boy. Oh, it's actually a dream gear. Put some respect on that name. <clears throat> Easy. Easy, Dubs. Shadow walks through the library card against the saloon card where he set the original high score on the ar arcade machine. Yeah. yeah, but in the beating it, it wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Damn. <laughs> SGO said he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SGO was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and SGO didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book and I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see, I actually know people who that wouldn't do that to you, you being one of them. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would SPO leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw SPO on the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Jake Gyllenhaal. One that I would love for SPO to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must have ended my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on the zone, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish not that a Shadow returns to the library car? What should I do? <sighs> see... Tails is something, but there's no physical way for it. Hmm. I'm gonna defend Espio. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! I have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? The map. Yeah. There's clearly a spot right here. Or, no. This spot, isn't it? Yeah, it's that one, because you wouldn't have been able to see past the, um, the bookshelf. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. I'm gonna shove a gun in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the game girls didn't like this part of the game either. It sucks. <laughs> I can see why they didn't like it. It sucks. It's <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive when you're getting <laughs> Fucking what? Man. <laughs> Did 
going to bang a thing, but fuck it. Damn. Shall we see the evidence next time? We'll see the evidence next time. Next time. Ah!